coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Saturday morning. We're taking a live look from our tower cam south of Brazil overlooking the interstate. Starting off with just a little bit of sunshine, but clouds are on the increase. We're going to see those clouds continually increase over the course of the day, and eventually we'll be seeing some rain showers across the Wabash Valley. Before this morning, if you have anything to do, you can get out and about. The rain will hold off until we get into the afternoon hours, it looks like. Overall, we're in for a cooler day with highs topping out in the lower 50s. Now, the pick of the weekend is definitely going to be tomorrow. We're going to see the sun return, temperatures climbing up to the lower 60s, so it's going to be a much nicer way to finish up the weekend than today. But again, for right now, we're dry to start the day. It is just a colder start. Temperatures down into the near the freezing mark in most spots. 31 in Paris, 31 also in Flora and Olney. 33 for Vincennes. It's 30 in Brazil, 29 in Terre Haute and Sullivan, and 31 right now in Lagode. As you look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker, again, all quiet for now. The cloud cover has been increasing. A little more sunshine still farther to the east, but as we zoom out and look over here to the west, you can see the rain shower is now starting to cross the Mississippi River into Illinois. So there's still a few hours away, so that's why you still have some dry time out there this morning if you want to get out and about, run some errands or anything like that. This line of rain showers looks to move in as we get into the afternoon hours. So until then, just notice the clouds increasing. Temperatures are slowly going to warm up. Really not because of the sunshine, obviously, because we aren't going to see the sun too much. But the southerly wind is going to start to pick up. It'll become breezy by the time we get to the middle of the day. So south wind at about 12 miles per hour by lunchtime upwards of 15 miles per hour around 3 o'clock. That's when the cold front is going to start to move through. You'll notice once we get between 3 and 6, the wind's going to shift and come out of the west and eventually northwest, so that'll start to bring in. It's a little bit cooler air, but really not going to drop our temperatures too much. In fact, tomorrow going to be warmer thanks to the sunshine. But again, overall today, temperatures topping out in the lower 50s. Unfortunately, today isn't the only day with a chance of rain, especially out of the next week. Again, we'll stay dry for tomorrow as in terms of the weekend, but as we get into Monday, we'll see a few more scattered showers, mostly in the morning. And as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, a few more chances of rain. Wednesday looking to be the best bet of rain, but any of those days could see some scattered showers. So unfortunately, we're looking at a soggy period shaping up for us as we get into the work week. So now here's a look at future cast for the rest of your Saturday. Again, the cloud cover going to be filling in as we go into the afternoon, but by the time we get to lunchtime, still dry. Rain showers just now starting to make it through central Illinois. So by the time we get to 3 o'clock, that's when it's making its way towards the Interstate 57 corridor. Those rain showers will continue to advance to the east. So here's 4 o'clock. First band starting to make the way through the heart of the Wabash Valley. And then we'll see the cold front sliding through as we get towards the 6 o'clock hour. Maybe some pockets of more moderate rain as that front passes. Not looking at anything in the way of thunderstorms. And then this front will continue to move through as we get into the evening hours. So by 8 o'clock, most of the rain has come to an end. And you'll notice the sky is going to clear fairly quickly behind that. So a clear sky tonight means temperatures are going to drop back down close to the freezing mark once again. And then once we get into Sunday, plenty of sunshine expected. Here we are at 8 o'clock in the morning. By the time we get to noon, still not noticing much on Futurecast. And that will take us into the afternoon as well. Clouds don't increase until we get into Sunday night. So your forecast for today, 53 degrees. Again, as the clouds increase this morning. And then rain showers as we get into the afternoon. Southerly wind could gust up to 25 miles per hour at times. So again, becoming breezy, especially as we get towards midday. And then for tonight, down to 34 as the sky becomes clear. Remaining breezy, though. After that cold front passes, we can see wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour, especially closer to midnight. Then the wind will start to ease up a little bit as we go into early tomorrow morning. Then for Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs topping out around 60, right where they should be for this time of year. So pretty seasonable day. Wind not as strong out of the west-northwest at only 5 to 7 miles per hour. As we look the next seven days, there are those daily chances of rain. I don't think it's going to be an all-day washout, though, so I wouldn't cancel any plans if you have them for next week. Just a few scattered showers. Wednesday looking like the best bet for some rain, and that will cool off our temperatures as a cold front goes through back down to 48 next Friday.